What's up everyone and we are back in NCAA football and today our final home game in college as we take on Utah State. Let's get into it. And we're back to perfect weather. We're number six ranked, which is good. But with this being our second to last game, it is concerning because we need to get up to at least number two and stay there through championship week, which we don't play in because we're in the WAC. So it concerns me a bit because I don't know. As for Heisman rankings, uh, I'm number one currently, but we all know a lot of things can change, so I'm not going to be overly confident about that right now. Oh, good release block by the tight end, crappy block by the receiver. The tight end gave that big play potential, the receiver instantly ended that. Gain of six, though. But we go right back to passing. That'll be a touchdown. Pretty good way to start off the game. Even if it isn't a rushing touchdown, it's still a receiving touchdown. <clears throat> Another decent stop by our defense. And we're going to run it again. Starting on our own 36 this time. Another really good release block by the tight end. The corner went too far outside. However, the safety managed to get me out of bounds. Unfortunate. Two attempts for 34 yards right now, though. I trust Lewis to get that block up there. Especially now that that receiver's out of there. Lewis does a really good job. I just got to beat the safety to the edge, which I do. That'll be another touchdown. This game's going pretty well. And we're right back on the field, running the football again. It's literally been 40 seconds. And we're back on their 22, running the football. Oh gosh, all right, not, not good blocking outside that time. I don't think they liked my breakaway run too much. Uh, yeah, our blocking needs to get better. That was a three-yard gain. Now we're going to pass, which... Don't love it. Robinson makes crappy decisions, so especially on third down, I hate the pass calls, but... Nothing I can do about it. The motion... Oh my gosh. He wasn't even close. We get the field goal, though, and we have the ball back again before the quarter's over. It's literally been a minute. And we're running the ball again. Holy crap. How how did I even turn that into an eight-yard gain? That should have been like a loss of eight. And instead, I turned it into a major gain. That was nuts. Did not get a chance to change the direction of that play. Somehow, I made it out of there. And turn that into a huge play. If I hadn't still been juking, because I had no clue what was going on, I probably would have been gone. Really, one yard. One yard away from 100 yards through one quarter. That went for a gain of eight. 12 seconds left and we're giving it to me on the run. Please don't let time expire on the quarter. Robinson, I'm begging you. He's going to let time expire on the quarter. Yep. Gosh dang it. See, this is why I hate Robinson. Like, he hates it when anyone other than him gets good stats. And so he will go out of his way to screw me. Like, I'll have a chance to get 100 yards in a single quarter. Nope, you're stuck at 99 because I'm not going to snap the ball. Or... I'm wide open. No, I'm not going to throw it until you're already out of bounds. Oh, I've got the perfect blocking set up this side. No, I'm going to flip it right before the end of the right before I snap the ball or I'm going to motion the guy who be, him being away from the play sets it up. <laughs> like he is going out of his way to make life difficult for me. I gained 9 though. 
and now on the seven, just got to get upfield without running into any problems, which that corner ended up being unfortunate, but we're still running it on the one. I should get over here. If I don't, it's concerning. Yep. Pretty easily too. We get the ball back. Decently deep in our own territory compared to other drives on our own 36. Gain of seven, but that's that kind of out of bounds pass that I'm talking about. Like, West was open clearly, and he didn't throw it until he had no chance to do anything with it. right there he had me on an over route that was deeper than the route that he threw and identical coverage whatever though and we got to deal with him for three more games maximum so that should have been intercepted second and ten now and now we're going back to running it i'm not sure about this front here but the tight end instantly puts all my worries to rest. The receiver does not. The linebacker tried to rip the ball out there unsuccessfully, thank goodness. Normally, I fail big time, but... Time to run it up the middle. And now I fumble, but it is recovered by Buck West. I get subbed out. And we don't score. What? The heck? How did we not score? We were down that close. How did we not get any points? Minute 45 left to play in the half. That one's caught for a first down. And play action time. The fake. Caught by the tight end, Adams, who gains nine. We call a timeout right as I'm about to run it. But we're still going to run it with me. What was the point of the timeout? Please help me here, O-line. Nope. Nope. No help. No help. I'm dead. What on earth was that blocking? Flip it. Thank you. For once, I'm going with the receiver side. And I, it pays off as I make the corner miss and the other receiver comes up with a clutch cut block as I cross the goal line to put us over 30 points by half. Utah State is finally on the board as we start the second half up 31-3. to three. They're playing a zone defense, which makes it harder for me to get the edge. And also just harder for me to run in general. Obviously, I'm still finding openings. Seeing with that 164 yards and three touchdowns. But, oh gosh. Alright, credit to Robinson. When he needs to, he can make a big play. He just doesn't often. Like right there, he had pressure coming right at him. And he made a stupid decision. But he threw it perfectly, so it didn't matter that it was a stupid decision. That did not work. Second and seven now, and we're right back to passing. I tried to cut it inside the guard's hip where I saw there was a crease. He did not hold his block though, and the lineman just grabbed onto me. Another one that should have been intercepted wasn't and ended up going for a big gain. Robinson is really risking a lot here, but whatever. Motioning the tight end slightly. I mean, not really. Another kind of risky throw for a catch and a first down, although that one was hard to tell because I was on the other side of the field. Now play action. Gotta say, though, with just two games remaining after this with Robinson as my quarterback, oh, frick this. 
Pontiac Drive Summary had to appear one more time. We'll see if it's actually sticking around or if it's just a one-time thing here, but as I was saying, with two games left with Robinson, I can confidently say I would take my freshman year Ricky over Robinson currently. Oh, frick this. All right. Okay, so hopefully what I did fixed it. Marvin Adams is not the name of a white tight end. I'm just going to say that right now. Frick this. Like, seriously, Pontiac, I literally am getting negative feelings towards their brand because of this glitch that EA never bothered to fix somehow. All right, it's finally gone. You're telling me in the age of gaming where patches could be put out, they never put out a patch for that. Oh, that's caught. Decent gain. Pitch play here. And I'm going to run it to the receiver side. I'm taking the risk because I cannot trust the blocking on the back side, but I can't trust the blocking this side either. What the heck? I go backwards five yards. Because the blocking was so abysmal. I hate our blocking. Can I get drafted by, like, the Cowboys just so there's a decent O-line? I hate the Cowboys, but I need an O-line. Two-yard gain. And we need to get a touchdown here. Because we need two touchdowns if we're going to cross that 50 mark again. <laughs> which is truly what we need, is to dominate all of our opponents at the end of this season. All right, that's caught for a first by a lineman, no less. Now we're going to run it. See, I got no problem with the Old Spice Red Zone report. It's the Pontiac Drive summary that I have a problem with, along with my O-line, who does not want to block. Dive play time. Still is going to be useless if our interior O-line continues playing like that, but... Oh, gosh. Or if uh, that guy just came out of nowhere. What, what was he even doing out there? They weren't double covering our receiver. Why was he out there? Whatever. Can we snap the ball? Nope. So that's going to make it very difficult to cross the 50 mark. Thanks a bunch, Robinson. I genuinely hope he goes undrafted. Actually, I'm not sure if other players around me even will follow into the Madden 08 franchise. I don't know how that save data works, but I hope if he does, he goes undrafted. Ooh, good catch, and that's a touchdown. 45-17. No, they're sitting our starters. Please tell me that's us driving. It's not. Oh, wait, it was. The backups got us across the 50 mark. We went 52-17. to 17. This play on the edge got me the Pontiac Drive Summary. Or, not the Pontiac Drive Summary. The Pontiac Game Changing Performance. It's invading my speech now. <laughs> Regardless. Player stats. Robinson was pretty on point for me 19 attempts 162 yards three touchdowns 97 after first contact we're going downhill a bit receiving wise two receptions 70 yards two touchdowns so yeah final home game in the books one more regular season game i'll see you guys next video